Okay, uh, let me clarify my position about microsychokinesis just to elaborate on what I meant from last video. First, most of the uh, original studies that uh, got started on this uh, are available at formulab.com uh, under, under the retropsychokinesis project. Uh, read those there. The replications with PEAR had some severe plot flaws, statistical legermain, uh, experimental flaws. What I think is necessary is for somebody else, either skeptic or believer, to take up um, a new protocol, tighten the flaws where uh, that PEAR had, and then actually see if there's anything to this. Also as well, uh, I should clarify my position. I think that the original studies were highly indicative. I, uh, I don't think they're conclusive. I'm an agnostic on this uh, psychic phenomena like I am uh, this issue like I am on all psychic phenomena. And until the experimenter's psi effect has been proven or disproven, we can't say one way or the other about any psychic phenomena, let alone this. As for telekinesis on, my, on the macro level, it's bunk. There's no mechanism which would allow for mental energy to transfer on a macro level. A micro level, however, uh, like micropsychokinesis, since it's mostly talking, since we're mostly talking radioactive decay and quantum mechanics, quantum entanglement could easily fall in. Anyway, see ya.